Hello, family, and thank you for coming over to the crib tonight where we can get and talk about a little story here and there. We're going to be talking about one story that came from Atlanta Black Star. Yes, 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 family. Talking about Nene Leaks over there trying to dupe a goop Tane Sands into a friendship that Nene has no anticipation on keeping her <laughs> as a friend. Because when it comes down to the reunion, Nene going to be unblocked everybody. She's going to be unfriending everybody on social media. And it's just going to be a status quo where she sit and rest for four months and don't be bothered with none of them help us. Okay. But we got a story to talk about, to converse a little bit about, and just try to understand this situation, okay, with these two ladies, that is, Nene Leakes and Tanya Sands. Angela Vasquez brought it out. She's employed in some form of fashion over there at the Atlanta Black Star team. Go over there and check some of their other stories out if you must for all your entertainment gossip needs. But she gives us a title called She's Using You. Fans don't trust that Nene Leakes is a genuine friend to Tanya Sands. Okay, now, you know, you have to think about that situation. Friendship is a very, very strong uh, what do you call it? Statement. When you put and make somebody your friend. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have fair weathered friends. Sometimes you have good stock friends. Then you have the ones that are like down with your full flat tires type of friendship. So you just got to determine which friends you're calling friends or are they really your friends to be calling yourself in friendships with them. Okay. But any which way, we're going to talk about this story, okay? all right? So, we're going to say uh, what it's telling us uh, going into the first <coughs> paragraph. It says, Nina Leak said that she was done with the women of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she meant it. Well, at least until she didn't. <laughs> and that's an accurate statement. Catch Nene on a bad day. She done blocked and just showed out everybody, okay? Catch her on another day. Everything's status quo. Everything is cool. She's refreshed. She's in her good positive zine type of moment. And, and she has no infractions with none of them. She could care less, okay? Then you get on another day. And it just might be firecrackers popping around. Now, somebody don't upset her. She got to get them straight. She either mad at people that's or her cast members on the show. Or she just mad at people out in the street. She just showing her ass each and every way she want to. Okay? Because Nene says she got it like that. She can do it. She can like people. She don't have to like people. That's just how fame and fortune has gotten her these days. Okay? But that wasn't an article. That was just my sidebar. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so at this time. And share and like all my videos. Okay, guys? That's what family do for one another. All right. But going back into the article, it says season 12 of the hit show was a tough one for Leaks. Who essentially had issues with every single one of the women on the show. Yes. At most, the only reconciliations she's managed were with Tanya Sands and Portia Williams. Okay. Well, I'm like, who else she out with? Okay, Cynthia, she's still working on that one. Um, she don't give a damn about Kenya Moore. Candy, she really ain't had no beef. You know, she always think Candy's irrelevant until she needs her. And then she bring her back in the fold. And Candy dumb enough to sit there and go play her uh, bone carrier type of situation. But, you know, Candy like doing that stuff. That's what we don't put her pretty much. She ain't really doing nothing but uh, carrying messages back and forth. Trying to stir up shit. So that's her claim to fame for this season anyway. Not in the article. Just my sidebar. Okay. It says Sam is not officially a cast member of the ensemble group of reality stars. And is often listed as a friend of each of the ladies. Since joining in on the highs and lows of the group. This tech savvy businesswoman has even experienced tension between herself and Lise. Now see that's why I call Nene crazy as hell. She got a smart ass person like Tanya Sam's. That's getting money 
and getting money on this show. And she's just a friend. Nene need to be sitting up there forging friendships, solid friendships with Tanya Sams and people like her and her demeanor as well as her profession so she can hook up other avenue revenue streams. You see what I'm saying? But Nene, 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 she just like the entertainment where she can cut the food and she's fine with that. So do your own, do your own thing, Nene Lease. I ain't mad at you, girl. But going back to the article, it says, however... If pictures serve us right, it looks as though some Lone Wolf uh, leaks is on good terms with Sam. On Sunday, leaks posted pics of herself and Sam out on the town together at Atlanta Agency Socialite Restaurant. Okay. Despite the message sent by images of the smiling pair, fans have been open and voicing their concerns about Leek's lack of loyalty and even hinted that her friendship with Sam's is all a sham. Okay? Well, my thing is, I think uh, pretty much Tanya knows how Nene gets down. Tanya's not stupid. She might be stupid with handling her man and this, that, and the third. But if she likes him clowning on her... Uh, she's cool with it. She's been with him for 10 years, so I guess she could stay 10 more years with him. You know, it's just what it is. Some women like that. They got their man when they want him, okay? And then they got their career that they really much spend 99% of the time indulged in. Okay, and when they want to come out and play and feel sexy, they go find a man that they can play with the other 10%. All right, so it works for Tanya. Who are we to judge and say who she should not be with? Hell, she know that man more than we know him, okay? She love him. We like him, okay? It's just all good and great for over here. Um, going back to the article, it's my sidebar. Um, she uses you, Tanya, wrote one person. Others were glad to see Leeks hanging with a more positive member of the group. Tanya is like a fresh, no, Tanya is a breath of fresh air. And Tanya's personality is always positive, wrote others. Okay, Nene and I are in a really good place. Personally, with me, she's really involved. And she does really have an intentionally good heart, said Sam. Recently, when asked about the status of her friendship with Leeks, while on Watch What Happens Live, during season 12, Sam's relationship had its moments of being the center of attention after Kenya Moore sparked a conversation about the girls wanting to know if their men were cheating on them. Each of the women agreed that they would want to know, including Sam. The caveat to the conversation is that Moore, Cynthia Bailey, and Kenya Burris, all dogs, okay, and I say dogs in the worst possible way because they sitting there with information, you know, that's their privy of, and they let Tanya Sam's go out like that, okay? This is letting Kenya try to spill all the hearsay, but not really getting down to saying, girl, this is what this woman told us about what your man doing, you know what I'm saying? Like a true OG, but it just is what it is. Going back to the article. Uh, it's talking about all of them. Each newer woman had claimed that Sam's fiance, Paul Judge, had been real flirty with her and wanted more than the cookies on the display. Okay, he wanted her cookies, her cookies coming out that cookie jar. All right, at her how to cookie shop in Atlanta. Okay, so again, we just back and forth. We don't know. Can you just dropping out stuff? Let me see what this thing says. It says five times Nene Le Leaks closed the door. Let's see what they got to say. See if I can get some audio for y'all up in the family affair. See what we got going here. Come on, are you going to play? Oh, basically, no, nah, we're not going to play that because that's actually, actually wanting me to read this um, slide show that I got going on. And we ain't got time to be reading all that. No, mm -mm, I don't waste y'all time already on doing this video and I am eight minutes in. But, y'all, that's all I had. I mean, what y'all think uh, about Nene? Is she really just using tanya as a storyline or just using her for taping time purposes or do she really uh like hanging around tanya uh you know because nene says she don't really like going out she really like she's a stay-at-home body type person i kind of uh can see nene having um like laid back parties with people that she deem her friends or people that won't go and spread news out in social media about her and this that and the third so i can see her really wanting to stay at home and just chill because she does travel a lot like most of the women on real housewives of atlanta for other um revenue streams of uh 
revenue coming out where they have to pretty much you know keep their household going so when somebody or their agent says you know you got to go this place can you go this place and make this money you know um yeah they have to go pretty much if they want to keep that income stream coming in if they want to continue being independent contractors of the franchise of real housewives of atlanta yeah they got to go when the man say go you got to go okay or find some other type of uh revenue stream you want but like i said ain't about trying to leave real housewives of atlanta them ladies to say in and everything uh, because they really ain't got nothing else going on that's lucrative. That is like residual. They get money, you know, every uh, so many episodes. And, you know, they're getting paid in one lump sum. So, you know, once you sign that name on that contract, they issue out them checks. You got to come with it whether you feel like it or not. Whether that cash has been deposited and you don't paid out your bills for the six months period or whatnot. It's just here what it is. You got to come. You got to come with it. You got to bring that drama because that's what you signed up for. You make those fake storylines. So you got to uh, make do with them and, and have them come to fruition to keep us entertained over here. Okay? Because we what drives y'all and y'all what drives the uh, machine to keep getting money for the elites. Okay? That's just how it is. That's a totem pole. That's how we stroll down. Okay? With the bloggers and the YouTube content creators being at the lower end. Alright. So don't think we all get paid a lot of money. Because we don't. Okay. But anyway. That's for it. That is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will see y'all next video. And in that time and in between time. Make sure you're watching my videos. You're sharing my videos. You're liking them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Go on. Subscribe. Become a family member over here at uh, Dev Chanel's 48th World. It's always a family affair when you come on. You see my videos drop. I'm talking to y'all. The masses. Okay. So get with it already. And thank you for all the wonderful people that are a part of my family on youtube thank you thank you thank you and i want to bid you all i bid you adieu good night good morning good afternoon whenever you're looking at this video and may no one take your sunshine okay i don't care how bad it is how bad the situation is looking honey baby gentlemen ladies be always ready to go out there and keep your smiles up because sometimes blessings come in disguise. Okay? But y'all be blessed. I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.